What's up? It's T Hill again. Not a lot going on, so I'm gonna make this uh, episode short. Uh, on a personal note, uh, start working out again and realize real quick, cardio. I haven't been doing a lot of it, so um, if my episodes are a little bit later, uh, maybe about an hour. I don't know why. Uh, a little bit too much uh, cerveza and pizza, and not enough. Uh, free time in the day to work out so I'm forcing myself to take an hour out of my day to work out now uh, gaming note uh, you know kinda quiet uh, been playing uh, uh, what is it Scott Pilgrim vs. the world um, it gets a lot better uh, I'll have my review up hopefully in the next day or so uh, it gets a lot better controls are still kinda clunky but the more you level up, uh, you really see the RPG elements. They really implement them pretty, pretty nice. Uh, different moves and um, all in all, so far it's shaping up to be a pretty good game. Uh, looks like there's a few unlockables you can get. Um, yeah, they're, they're for the most part I'm having a pretty good time with it. Um, so there's that on the gaming news stuff. A few things. Uh, let's see what's going on. Nomura, uh, from, if you don't know who Tamura, uh, Nomura is, uh, he does the Final Fantasy games and, like, Kingdom Hearts and stuff, uh, he, uh, put out an interesting tweet about multi-platform development and Final Fantasy Versus 13, and it begs the question, because they're, uh, it just came out and was confirmed, you know, they, Microsoft, uh, came out and said that, uh, or I think it's Famatsu, Famatsu, I can never pronounce it right, um, came out and said, you know, the date for the Japanese release of Kinect and uh, that it was officially confirmed that uh, Final Fantasy uh, 13 uh, is coming to Japan. Made sense. I, I don't know, sales-wise, what they're trying to get out of it considering Microsoft has a very, very, very small install base over there. Maybe a couple extra 100,000. Maybe they're hoping every J Japanese Xbox 360 owner is going to go out and buy one. I don't know. Um all honesty, uh, I don't see that happening. It'll probably be a couple hundred, uh, a couple hundred thousand, not a couple hundred. Um, it'll probably boost the sales for Japanese 360s a little bit. Um, there's that. But the interesting thing about the whole piece was the tweet, and then shortly after you get the confirmation of Final Fantasy 13, a lot of people are making the, uh, are trying to connect the dots and make an assumption saying, oh, it's because. Uh, Final Fantasy Versus 13 is now going to be multi-platform. We don't know that. He did specifically say in his tweet that right now, only at least from Square's point of view and from his point of view, the game is being specifically designed and built for the PS3. Now, at a, if they decide to do one, this is his own tweet. Uh, don't quote me uh, word for word on the tweet, but uh, you can find it and just go to N4G or whatever. Um, that uh, their mindset for multi-platform is they focus on one specific console as a lead, you know, lead platform, and then at a later date, once the game is complete, then they go and work on porting it over to a different console. That's their mindset for multi-platform. They don't start both at the same time. They work on a lead SKU, and then they port over. Um, makes sense because then you, if you pick the heart, the more difficult uh, architecture to work with, and you know more powerful or whatever, however you want to look at it, uh, you you won't have as much trouble porting down. You see this a lot happening in the industry with a uh, PS3 becoming more of the lead because it's a little bit more tricky to uh, de develop for, and then port it over to the 360 because it's more PC style architecture. Um, so, at right now, based on this tweet, it's only being developed for a PS3. Now, you know, the head on show for Square Enix uh, has been big on, for a while now, doing a lot more multi-platforms. Um, they're platform agnostic, at least that's what they're trying to push. So, it doesn't, wouldn't surprise me if maybe a year, six months to a year after, uh, or maybe longer, uh, after the release of Final Fantasy Versus 13, which is going to be a while off, uh, a 360 version doesn't show up. 
uh, or shows up. It, it wouldn't, that doesn't surprise me at all. So there's that. Um, you know, really, really not a lot going on. Um, I'm downloading right now, currently I'm downloading the demos for Quantum Theory and what's the other one? Uh, download, I'm downloading, downloading another game. Let's see what I got. Sorry, I'm a little all over the place, scatterbrained right now. So I got two of them. Oh, Devil Kings. Uh, it's like Sen Sengoku or Basara. It's a Devil Kings. Uh, that's an English translation uh, for the PS3 off of PSN right now. So once I'm up, once those are down, done downloading, I'll give you my impressions. Uh, you know. If you, if you don't know what those are, Quantum Theory's, uh, tech, I believe it's Tecmo's, uh, take on the Gears of War style game uh, from a Japanese standpoint, which could be good. The graphics look nice, at least from what I've seen, the screenshots and the videos that have been put up. Uh, it hasn't quite, like, wowed me. I'd rather, in my personal opinion, is I'd rather play Gears of War. Um... It, it, this quantum theory is single player, at least from what I've read. I, don't quote me. I, I haven't done all the research. Um, I've been loosely following it. Uh, it. Looks like it's a single player, but you do have an AI controlled partner who you can give commands to, like the command like to run over, and you can throw her. Uh, but it's a really a uh, third person shooter. Um, the whole world is based around like you're in this building and this big long tower and it sh changes shape while you're in it uh, looks promising uh, I've always had a problem with kind of like Tecmo's uh, style the way they model their characters they always kind of look a little shiny like they're always like made of plastic or something hopefully th this looks better than that um, then there's like Devil Kings which is the other game I'm downloading uh, it's like Samurai Warriors but with I've always thought uh, Devil Kings had more flair to it than uh, Samurai Warriors or Dynasty Warriors or the Gundam uh, version of that game. Uh, it just looks like the characters have more personality. Um, you know, it's Capcom, of course, so that makes a lot of sense. So I'll give you my impressions probably tomorrow. Um, sorry, I don't have a lot going on. It seems like a kind of quiet day. There's some... Um, huh? No, that's... That's all the big stuff I've got. Uh, just want to, you know, give a shout out and say thank you to everyone that's subscribing and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, the support means a lot to me. Uh, just want to say thank you, Hip Hop, for you know your support. Uh, means tons to me. Uh, you know, I'll keep putting up videos, and I'll try my best. If you have any suggestions or room for improvement, please let me know. Put your comments below. This is just like me trying to start off the path of like becoming a gaming journalist I figure getting my face out there you know and not being just a faceless person who just writes up articles and stuff uh, letting you guys know what I look like my personal opinions and doing it daily so that way you know I'm committed to what I'm doing uh, that's about it uh, hopefully something juicy will come up tomorrow um, oh by the way uh, I do eventually plan on expanding um, what kind of topics I talk about. This channel is always going to be about gaming. That's my primary stuff. But I do have other passions. Uh, uh, anime. So, you know, call me a door, call me a nerd, whatever you want. Uh, uh, I'm a big Bleach and Naruto fan. Uh, like Full Metal, Alchemist, um, like that. You know, Gundam, I've always been a fan of. Dragon Ball Z when I was a kid. So, anime stuff and TV shows I like that if they come up, I'll talk about them. Uh, other than that, that's all I got. Again, I really appreciate all of you guys' support. Um, if you want to play with me on PSN, uh, hit me up. It's T Hill. Um, yeah, well, that's T Hill. I'm out. Peace.